comes away with it. Clark has it. Here comes Hobo McCoy. McCoy double teamed over there, brings it back to the front, pulls up for a three. It's good. Beautiful shot. And Belfry throws it away. Oh! Said it went off of a Pike Central player. I didn't see yeah. that from here, but you know. I trust Dale yeah. Khan's judgment, though. He's had a good view of it. Andy Casey was sure telling him it was yeah. off of him. He's yeah. uh, right there in front of him. I like Randy a lot, but when it comes to call like it, well, Pike Central with the steal. Hobo McCoy coming back the other way. Kicks it into the corner. Dylan Mead for a three. No good. And it'll be tipped out, and good call by the officials. Tipped out down there by Clark. Down to a minute 17 to play in the yep. game. Seven-point game, though. And there is Varney on the breakaway. Fouled. Clark, or Dylan Mead will pick up the foul. It'll be the third on Mead. Barney misses the free throw. Well, Barney's not had a good night offensively. He's got three points on the night. He's Belfry's leading scorer on the season. It's a really struggle tonight offensively. Second free throw is good. Obo McCoy will bring it up the floor now for Pike Central. McCoy will pull up for another three. Got him out of one. He's got 30 now. Struther driving. We're going to call the block. Good call. Yeah, so Struther on the mark. Yep. Two shots from now, though. Both teams in the double bonus for the remaining one minute of this ballgame. Free throws are huge for Belfry right now. If they hit their free throws, they win the ballgame. Should do it. It's only a five-point game. Brother nails it. Fifty-eight, fifty-two. Belfry on top. One minute exactly to go in the ball game. Brother nails them both. Obo McCoy will bring it up the floor now for Pike Central. Way downtown, right Got it. down. Down the four. And Varney walked with it, turned it over. Tell you what, this thing got exciting now. Oh, it? it has. Hobo McCoy, an amazing performance here. He's now got 33 points, and uh, he's been double teamed all night. It's more than either team scored in that game it last is, night. It yeah. is, isn't it? McCoy wants it. There it goes. And Struther fouled from behind by Clark. See what a valiant effort so far by Pike Central. Looks like if Belfry hits their free throws again, they win this ball game. Well, you know. Yeah. Brother, not the man you want to foul if you're Pike Central. He's been uh, pretty deadly. Yes, he has. He's uh, five out of six. 24 seconds to play in the ball game. 59-55. We'll take a break with Belfry leading it on the Intermountain Sports Network. And we're ready to resume play as Anthony Struther will be at the free throw line shooting two with Belfry leading 59-55 and 24 seconds remaining in the ball game. Big free throws coming up yep. here. Well, they're all big right now. Sure Both are. ways. Brother nails another one. He's got a nice touch for Yeah, he does. He's played a good game, from, especially from the free throw line. One more free throw coming for Struther. And that one is short. Rebound there's Hobo McCoy with it. McCoy bringing it up the floor. Pulls up for another three. Wow, he got another one. Goodness gracious. 60 
58. We've got a timeout on the floor with 14 seconds. Belfry on top on the Intermountain Sports. Wait a minute, they're going to hold on. We'll keep it right here. I believe. Yeah, it's a 30. We'll 30 just keep it right here. But uh, Hobo McCoy's hit four out of five three-point attempts here in this last minute. And uh, all of them have been heavily contested. They've uh, double-teamed him all night. He's now hit uh, six threes in the game and has 36 points. I'm telling you what, he has put on a show offensively here in this ball game. He sure has. I tell you what, I, I, I guarantee there is one smiling face in this arena when I can find him, and that's Coach Kelly Wells. Right, <laughs> yeah, he ought to be smiling. Have this kid shooting for him next year. He, he may be able to step in and take Justin Hicks's place as Justin graduates this year. And Runyon getting ready to throw it in, throws it into Struther. Struther is fouled. <laughs> Runyon, uh, Run you made sure he was going to get that call too, yeah, he didn't, did, he? didn't he? <laughs> I believe Run you might be an offensive lineman again. He might be. A nice block right it there. It was. And that's his fifth foul. Good, uh, good job by Belfry getting the ball into Struthers' hands. That's who they'd want it to line. He's been the man imagine. shooting the ball pretty well right now. He's six out of eight. Tell you right now, it's a one possession ball game. He needs to make, if he makes both of these, put, just about puts it away. Just about. One of them, though, would no, there's no guarantee with Hobo out there the way he's shooting right now. Yeah, that's exactly right. Brother at the free throw line puts it up. It is no good. Folks, it's going to be a one possession ball game with 11 seconds to go, regardless. Second free throw coming. Struther nails it. 61 58. We've got a timeout. Belfry. A full timeout. We'll take a break. 61 58 with 11 seconds to play. Belfry on top on your Intermountain Sports Network. And welcome back to play. Only 11 seconds left in the ball game. Belfry leading it by three. Hobo McCoy's hit four three pointers here in less than two minutes in this game. I think they're going to try to get it in his hands here. And, and he's going to get fouled. That's what yeah. I expect. That was a smart move. I wonder why coaches don't do that more often. I do too. That's a, yeah, that's a very wise move on Randy Casey's part right there. That's a lot of respect for Hobo McCoy is what that is. Yes, it is. And, and deservedly the way he's played this evening. Yeah, absolutely. The way he's played all season. That's the fifth foul on Altizer. So that gives Coach Casey another time out there. You got to you get a minute to uh, make a decision there when a player fouls out. So that's Joey Pinson checking back into the ball game. Obo McCoy on the free throw line. Question is, do you try to make both of these or make one miss one? I don't know. Still nine seconds to go. You can uh, knock them both down and then foul immediately. I think Belfry misses at the free throw line. Makes the first one. I think that's what he'll do. If it was down to five or six seconds, you'd probably see an intentional miss here. One more free throw coming, 61-59, and it's 61-60 with nine seconds to play. Gary Runyon gets it in over here to Varney. Varney fouled in the backcourt quickly. And I think that's Schaus, isn't it? Schaus or Dylan Mead? I'm not sure. Schaus. That's only the second on Schaus. And Jordan Varney going to the line where he is one out of three tonight. If he makes uh, if he makes both of these, it's still a one possession, one possession game. game. Might want to stand up, Ken. I think it's going to get a little excited here in a minute. But Ross yes. Hall. The Hawks have a shot. You can't foul them now intentionally to prevent yep. a three. 
Yep. Barney's second shot is good. Hobo McCoy bringing it up the floor. Takes it all the way into the lane. The runner tied at 62 with two and a half seconds yeah, well, to play. I believe they got a foul. And one. Wow. And one. Morgan Bentley or? What a shot. Morgan Bentley has just fouled out. I tell you what, Ken, as, as, as sloppy as that game was last night, this one has been as exciting. Well, it has. The second half has been, been tremendous. Mike Central is taking their final time out, Ken. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back, tied at 62 on the Intermountain Sports. Back as Hope o. McCoy goes to the free throw line to try and give Pike Central the one point lead with two and a half seconds to go in the ball game. We're tied at 62. Hobo McCoy puts it up. It's good. Belfry needs to go length of the court and will be out of bounds back to Belfry, but that's what a win. Game. Pike Central has won the 60th district tournament on the back of Hobo McCoy. Unbelievable performance. He scored, uh, he scored 17 points, Charlie, in the last, uh, I think, two minutes of the ball game or something. Just, that's phenomenal. They were down 14 with about four minutes and seven seconds to go, and they come back to win it, 63 to 62. I tell you what, what a ball game, kid. Let's take a break. We'll be back to uh, give some stats and some trophy presentations in just a few moments on your Intermountain Sports Network. <laughs> 